Welcome to our YouTube channel Medical Subjects Made Easy. Today's topic is Nested Case Control Study. A nested case control study is a type of study design that is commonly used in observational epidemiology. In this type of study, cases of a particular outcome are identified and then a sample of controls from the same population is selected. The controls are matched to the cases on various factors such as age, sex, or other relevant confounders. The following points provide detailed information about nested case control studies. 1. Definition and Purpose A nested case control study is a retrospective study design that uses a subset of participants from a larger cohort study. The purpose is to investigate the association between exposures or risk factors and a specific outcome or disease. 2. Study Design The study starts with a defined study population, usually from a cohort study, which includes individuals who are initially free of the outcome of interest. Over a period of time, cases are identified within this population. These cases are individuals who have developed the outcome of interest. Controls are then selected from the same population at risk but without the outcome. Controls are selected in a ratio to cases, often 1 to 2 or 1 to 4, matched on important factors such as age, sex, or confounders. Information on exposures or risk factors is collected from both cases and controls, using medical records, interviews, or questionnaires. 3. Advantages Nested case control studies are more efficient and cost-effective than full cohort studies because they do not require following all individuals over time. They use existing data and samples from cohort studies, reducing the need for additional resources. With the matching of controls to cases, confounding is minimized, and the association between exposures and outcomes can be more accurately estimated. 4. Selection of cases Cases are selected based on specific criteria related to the outcome being studied. For example, in a study on lung cancer, cases would include individuals diagnosed with lung cancer during the follow-up period. Cases should be clearly defined and have a well-documented diagnosis to ensure accuracy. 5. Selection of controls. Controls are selected from the same population at risk but without the outcome being studied. Controls should be matched to cases based on pertinent factors such as age, sex, or confounding variables relevant to the exposure being studied. Matching reduces potential bias and increases the precision of the estimated association. 6. Data collection. In a nested case control study, information on exposures or risk factors is collected both retrospectively and prospectively. Retrospective data is often obtained by reviewing medical records or conducting interviews with study participants or their proxies. Prospective data may be available from baseline assessments, questionnaires, or repeated measurements collected during the follow-up period. 7. Analysis. The analysis in a nested case control study involves comparing the prevalence or frequency of exposures or risk factors between cases and controls. Statistical models, such as conditional logistic regression, are used to estimate the odds ratio, OR, or relative risk, RR, of the association between exposures and outcomes, adjusted for confounders. 8. Limitations. Nested case control studies are limited by their reliance on existing data or samples from cohort studies, which may have limited information on exposures or risk factors of interest. The timing of exposure assessment may not be ideal, as it occurs before the outcome develops, which may introduce measurement error or misclassification. Although matching controls reduces confounding, it may limit generalizability if the controls are not representative of the population at risk. In conclusion, nested case control studies are a valuable study design in epidemiology. They allow for efficient investigation of associations between exposures or risk factors and outcomes while minimizing confounding. However, they are reliant on existing data.